Good afternoon. My name is Jean-Claude Guédon. I'm in Montreal and I'm really pleased to be able to address you today. I want to really thank the organizers for this opportunity and uh, also I want to celebrate this 20th anniversary of Cielo, which to my mind is probably one of the most important organizations that is presently operating in the whole field of scholarly communication. Now, what I would like to do in the next two or three minutes, since it's, this is about the time that I will use with you, is quickly to review two or three things that will be uh, important for uh, Cielo in its future. The first thing we have to understand is that Cielo plays a very unique and central role in the creation of something entirely different from what we've seen before Cielo, and that is the possibility of imagining and thinking about a decentralized, networked uh, systems of groups of researchers that can raise their own ins raise their own uh, questions, their own problems, and yet at the same time maintain a contact with the rest of the world. It also means a platform which is able to provide evaluation tools so that the researchers of Latin America, in Africa, and in some parts of Europe may be subjected to criteria which are not the ones that are actually uh, presently uh, directed by the, the, the uh, demands of the prestige journals. So you are creating a semi-autonomous system of research which covers a lot of countries and which at the same time has the chances of moving beyond the evaluation techniques that have been used traditionally in the scholarly world. That is, for example, the evaluation so-called uh, of the quality or the excellence of the work through the impact factors of journals. Now, this brings me to a, a difficult and yet uh, central point, which at times has put me in some big discussions with Cielo, the impact factor in its role. The whole point of the impact factor is to conflate the value, financial value of uh, journals who, that are competing for market shares with the uh, intellectual value of the content of the journal and the, let's say, the myth that has been circulating for a long time is that the journal can act as a proxy for the quality of the work that they contain. Some people say that the journals have moved from the um, content as king to, con to the journal as king maker. And this has completely distorted the whole system of um, of uh, scholarly publishing, scholarly and scientific communication. Cielo, in its attempt to go beyond what has been called by some lost science or neglected science, and they were right to do so, has, has tried to explore the possibility of using the impact factor reworked, redefined, so as to be able to bring forward the value of the work done in Latin America, in Africa, in some parts of Europe. Now, I know that this has been uh, triggered by also the demands of the funders, the funding agencies of, the, um, of uh, Latin America, because in, the, in effect, they are trying to say, we are having a kind of, um, a kind of, of uh, work which we have to have uh, developed and evaluated by, by, uh, by the international criteria. Well, the whole point is that the international criteria are not very working very well, and Cielo should really try to move well beyond the impact factor. And the way to do it actually is quite simple, because Cielo is also something very important. It's more than a portal of journals. It has the potential of becoming a platform of journals. Now, if I say that a, a Cielo is a platform and not a portal, I'm saying two things. On Cielo, you find plenty of content related to journals that are sitting within that platform. But the platform also creates new kinds of links, 
between the different papers, the different studies, the different problems, which are covered in all the various journals of Cielo. So that in the end, the platform becomes dominant with respect to the journal, and the platform should be actually the basis for the evaluation of the content, which is on the uh, platform Cielo. So the result of that is that if journals exist beyond what we've done with journals so far, these journals are no longer tools to evaluate the work. They are tools to really offer groups of researchers the possibility to unite and work together with one voice, which is built around the congregation of articles that corresponds to that journal. And that means also that an article in particular can be actually been, be uh, taken over by more than a uh, quote unquote journal. So the result of all of this is the creation of a system based on the platform, which can relate to equivalent platforms elsewhere in the world, and that allows to create a system of evaluation, which will not be uh, made prisoner of the impact factor as it is presently organized in scholarly communication. This means also envisioning a world of science and of scholarship, which is not simply dominated by the Northern Atlantic area of the world, or, uh, or uh, gradually taking over the, uh, the, um, the work of other regions of the world. It means instead series of networks that raise their own problems, their own questions, respond to their own urgent demands, and yet at the same time, by maintaining the methods of scholarship and of scientific method, the scientific method, they can very simply move into um, a network of uh, semi-autonomous question sets, which allows science to develop in a poly-centered manner rather than a complete uh, north-driven monopoly of science. So what I see with Cielo is the announcement that this kind of vision has chances of surviving and even developing, and perhaps even one day becoming the real objective of world science. And I'll conclude with this, this little presentation by saying, let's separate what is a global system of scholarship and science from what I would like and rather call an international system of science. And let's, let's make of Cielo the harbinger, the leader, the symbol of this new way of organizing world science and scholarship, of course, because I go beyond to uh, the humanities and social sciences as well. And with this, I will conclude by saying happy birthday, Cielo. <laughs>